So in this video, I am going to walk you through the steps for the first SketchUp problem um, surrounding the pavilion project. So I'm in the file and I'm going to click on this figure and delete well, the two figures and delete them. We'll be bringing in some figures later. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to generate some new tags. So over here on the right, you'll see um, a panel with the header default tray, and there's one called tags under here. Now, tags in SketchUp work similar, similarly to AutoCAD's layers. Um, one thing you can do is hover over this part and left click and drag the panel down so you can see um, a longer list. Right now, we're going to start by creating a few new tags. Um, one of them is going to be called wall. Another one is going to be called roof. And the third one is going to be called base. Okay, and it doesn't matter what colors these are, you'll be changing the materials at a later time. So this pavilion will be sitting on a sort of raised base. Um, the base is going to be 200 feet by 200 feet and it, um, wide and three feet high. So to get started with this, what we're going to do is create a rectangle, actually a square, and we're going to go with our first point where these axes intersect. So this is basically like the zero, zero of AutoCAD. Click there, and then we're going to input some values um, over, you'll, you'll notice in the lower right, I'm not going to type them in here. I'm just going to input 200 feet, comma, 200 feet. And you can see those numbers are appearing in the lower right hand corner, and then I'm going to press enter. Okay. So then I'm going to zoom out a little bit by my, with my rollerball on my mouse. And there is my, um, my square. So I'm going to type in O for orbit. This is the orbit tool right here. And it's going to allow me to kind of move around a little bit. Okay. So there's my um, square that's going to become this, this base. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is use the push-pull tool. So it's right here on the, on the toolbar, push pull. And I'm going to click a point over there. And I'm going to kind of raise it up and press in or type in three feet. And again, you can see in the lower right hand corner, it's saying three feet. And then I'll press Enter. OK. Um, if you want to get out of a tool, you, know, you can kind of go to the Select tool. Um, when I zoom in here, again, um, the zoom tool I'm using is on my mouse, but you'll notice that there are other zoom tools that are up here on the bar if you're not working with the mouse. So you can kind of experiment with that a little bit. But basically, this platform I have right now is 200 by 200 by 3. Okay, And I'm going to kind of spin around a little bit again. There's the orbit tool that you can get from the toolbar. You know, or you can type in O, and it will um, initiate that. Now, when you make a form like this in SketchUp, you can see when I click on all these sides, these are not together. They're just these kind of surfaces. So one of the things that you'll need to do um, with many of the things that we'll be working on is to group these so that they all stay together. So at this point, you will want to go to this selection tool here. And what I'm going to do is make a window around the whole group or the whole set of surfaces. Now I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say make group. So now that it's a group, I can move it around by clicking on just one of the surfaces. All right, now I'm going to go to where it says entity information. And right now, it's telling me I have a solid group, and it's currently untagged. 
So this is where this whole tag layer business comes into play. I'm going to click on this, this cell right here and choose base, okay? And for this one, I'm gonna lock it because when I start to add more things, I don't want it to be accidentally moved around. So I'm gonna click on the lock tool. And you'll, you'll notice that it turns red when it's locked. And that's all you need to do in order to make a platform or the base for the pavilion. And the next steps will begin adding walls and a roof.